Have you always thought that you would be a failure? Kind of, kind of. It's quite dangerous what you're encouraging kids to do, that jackass stunt. There's more to me than people really know, you know? I'm Get just out of here. Get out of here. Dude, I look fucking great right now. Oh, nice, dude. Sweet, hey. sweet, 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 sweet. Hey, Steve-o. How's I'm it Jamie. going, bro? Right on, Jamie. Good to meet you. Good to meet you, too. So let the 24 hours begin. So how are you feeling about it? It sounds a lot like being in jail, and I'm pretty good at that, <laughs> so let's do it, <laughs> you know? Good. I feel like I'm being sentenced to the crime of being famous and greedy. This is your penance. Yeah, yeah, now this I'm here to serve my time, yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm not really American. I'm a citizen of the Western Hemisphere as a whole. Uh huh. I was born in England. At the age of six months old, my family moved to Brazil. I spoke my first words in Portuguese, so I was raised by servants. When I was two years old, my father's job moved us to Venezuela, and so I went through nursery school speaking fluent Spanish. When I was four, we moved to Darien, Connecticut. My first time living in America. When I was six, we moved to Miami, Florida. When I was nine years old, we moved to London, England. When I was 12 years old, we moved to Canada. And then when I was 13, back to London, England. And then I had a really pitiful display at the University of Miami. So I dropped out and decided that I was going to become a stuntman. You know, I expected to be a failure in life and die young and sort of pitiful. You always thought that you would be a failure? Uh, kind of, kind of. At the time when I was dropping out of university, those who loved me and cared for me, they, they just thought, oh, like, what a shame, <laughs> you know? And uh, people who didn't like me and liked to pick on me were just like, like ah, you're going to be a loser, you're going to be a loser, you know? What was there about you that made them think that? Uh, well, just my plan. It's like, like, like um, you're dropping out of college, what are you going to do with your life? Oh, I'm gonna be the craziest bastard. <laughs> you know, like, I'm, you know, I'm, people are like, "Great, you, you're gonna make a career out of being crazy." And I'm like, "Yeah, like, wasn't a very feasible plan, <laughs> but I pulled it off." Yeah. I mean, I, I was a rich kid growing up. My dad was the president of Pepsi Cola in all of South America. Um, I when you know, I dropped out of college. I was homeless for three years, you know, like, I knew having no money or more than I needed and nothing ever really in between. So what was it like when you were, gr you were growing up in England, right, in St. John's Wood? Yep. In a massive house, didn't you? I was, like, embarrassed to have friends from school come to my house because I was, like, you know, it was so big and I never embraced the role of rich kid, you know, like, I don't know. I was I was always kind of ashamed of uh, my privileged upbringing. Maybe uh, that's got a lot to do with why I've made a career out of being rebellious. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty funny. What do you mean by that? Um, I don't know. I just never like being told what to do. Like you know, that's all. Ugh. Did you start doing your stunts because you weren't getting enough attention? Yeah, fuck yeah, all I ever wanted was attention. Did do my stunts trying to get attention, pussy. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> it's polite to ignite. 